as much as it's a great story here, sadly not the case out of one of the other FA Cup ties played this afternoon between Haringey Borough of the Isthmian non-league Premier and Yeovil Town, a National League club. That one abandoned after 65 or so minutes amid reports and allegations from Haringey that their goalkeeper, the Cameroonian, Valerie Douglas Pagetut, was racially abused. Also reports of a bottle thrown and spitting from a section of the Oval supporters, and I use the word supporters uh, reservedly, if you will. Uh, afterwards, both the Haringey manager and captain spoke to our reporter, Becky Ives. Well, I have been joined by the Haringey manager now. Tom, some sad scenes this afternoon that we've witnessed. Yeah. Um, just from your point of view, talk me through what's happened. Um, well, the game was as good as gold. There was no incidences. I don't even think there was a yellow card. And um, the penalty um, seemed to set the game, uh, set everything alight. Their fans behind the goal thought would uh, reacted or behaved uh, ridiculous, disgracefully. And um, I'm not going to sit there and watch my players, who I've known from teenagers, um, be abused that way and have um, missiles thrown at them, uh, spat at, and racially abused. I can actually see tears yeah. in your eyes. It's upsetting because I know how much this means to everyone and we've worked hard to get to this round and we know what <coughs> we achieved last year um, for this to happen. I'm so sorry, Haz. Rakeem, you are the captain. How is the team feeling right now? Um, we're all over the place, I would say. Uh, a couple of players are very distraught, obviously. Um, direct racial to one of our players, Kobe, so he's a bit shaken up by all of it. As a team, it's it's shaking us all up together. We just got again with it. I suppose there's nothing we can do about it. You know, we might be thrown out the FA Cup. Who knows? Um, if it happens, it doesn't. You know, it's um, it's not important. The safety safety of the players comes first, as I'm, uh, as far as I'm concerned. And the way um, Kobe reacted, there was no way I was going to push him back out on that pitch um, after what he was called. But um, you know, is what it is. It's a horrible thing to have happened, and obviously you see it on TV, but to be a part of it, it it's devastating, and it, it does cause an effect on players that you probably think might not have caused an effect, but it, it's a big deal. But we'll, we'll come back, train again, and then look forward to the next game. Well, incredibly sad afternoon, yeah. and thank you so much for your time and coming out to speak about it to us. Well, distressing story, clearly. Thanks to both Rekim and to Tom for speaking to Becky Eves. And you can see the support they both getting from the home crowd. Should also point out that the Oval uh, players and staff, to our knowledge, also supported Herringay's decision to walk off the pitch. No doubt, uh, as Tom said, the FA uh, will have a look at this. Now, whether Herringay suffer uh, any effects, if you like, of their decision to walk off, that will be for the FA to work out in due course.